Hi, my name is Lukas from CVA Services and I'm going to introduce you to our SA CCR interest rate swap and swaption sheet which will calculate your uh, exposure at default for uh, one netting set. The trades of the netting set are entered line for line and we'll just put in some random numbers um, which we can do by hitting the fill example data button. As you can see, the first column asks for the nature of the trade um, which can be selected by a drop-down menu where you can select between swap and swaption. If you select swaption you'll be prompted to put in some additional information uh, which we will get to later. The next columns are start date and end date which should be entered in years. The next column asks for the currency which is pretty self-explanatory as is the column after that which asks for the notional value of the trade. In the type column you'll have to select if you're on the paying or receiving end of the trade. Uh, this is once again done by a drop down menu where you can select between payer and receiver. Um, if uh, you're doing this for a swap option you'll be referencing the underlying swap. The last column asks for the market value of the trade and um, if you have entered swap options you'll still have to input the underlying price, strike price and uh, the exercise date of those swaptions. Now we're ready to calculate the exposure at default which can be done by hitting the calculate EAD button um, which will give you the EAD plus some additional information like the replacement cost, the uh, potential future exposure, add-on and multiplier. Um, if your netting set has a margin agreement you can enter this in the margin agreement input tab here you will be asked um, for the details of the margin agreement. I'll just be putting in some example numbers here. Um, the margin frequency uh, is a drop-down menu where you can select between um, daily and weekly. Those are the two options uh, for the margin agreement. So now that we've put in some numbers, we can see how that changes the EH EAD. And we see that our exposure at default was in fact changed. To empty the sheet you can hit the button clear input data. This will empty both the input data sheet and the margin agreement input sheet as well, which leaves us with an empty and reusable sheet. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.